Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Democrats vying for first CD seat square off in debate. The 11 Democrat candidates for the 1st Congressional District tried to stand out from the field Wednesday in a debate less than a week before the primary. The field was the largest in history of the Granite State debates. Instead of standing at podiums, the candidates were arranged in a line of seats and each had just 45 seconds for each answer. The candidates were largely in agreement on many of the issues in the debate, which ranged from immigration and college debit to the opiate crisis and the cost of health care. But there were some areas of distinction as each candidate tried to show they had the best solution to the country's problems. Candidate Maura Sullivan, a Marine who served the administration of President Barack Obama, has faced criticism because she recently moved to New Hampshire. She was asked why the people of the 1st District should trust in that she knows their concerns well enough to serve them. Candidate Chris Pappas, a member of the Executive Council and business owner, was asked about whether he might be considered too much of an establishment candidate. He has won the endorsements of major New Hampshire Democratic figures, but after outsider candidates have won Democratic primary races in other states, Pappas was asked whether that could make him appear less independent. On the issue of immigration, several of the candidates agreed that immigration Immigrations and custom enforcement should be abolished and replaced with a new system. Naomi Andrews, Chief of Staff for current 1st District U.S. Rep. Carol Shea Porter, said she'd com committed to comprehensive immigration reform and noted that they was in area where Chief Porter's office was able to work across the potential aisles. She said she has also been taken aback by reported abuse by ICE. William Martin, an accountant for a New Hampshire nonprofit, said that ICE should be reformed rather than abolished. Several of the candidates said they were in favor of implementing single-payer health care system or Medicare for all. They were asked how they would pay for a system that was recently established to cost about $30 trillion over the next 10 years. Candidate Paul Card to know a public sector technology in Inglis said healthcare already costs more than that. Candidate Lincoln Saldesti, a former prosecutor and defense attorney, agreed that a single payer program would save money. Candidate D. Glenn Mc here, who has worked at a technology startup and founded a non-profit small business group, noted that people already pay for health care 
through deductions and premiums. He said providing health care to all would support entrepreneurship and small business by easing the financial burden of health care, something he said is personal to him. Candidate Mindy Mazur, a state representative and environmental scientist, said she also supports single care, as did candidate Mark McKenzie, a state representative and former president of the state AFLCIO, and candidate Terrence O'Rourke, a former army officer and county attorney. Papa Sullivan and Andrews said they were in favor of expanding health care coverage, but not ready to call for a single pair plan yet. Pappas said he was proud to support expand Medicare in New Hampshire and fight White House attempts to scuff the Affordable Care Act. He said achieving universal health care should be in a virtual global goal. Sullivan said she supports a public option to allow people to buy into Medicare. She said the government should be able to negotiate lower prescription drug prices. Andrews said she supports allowing people of any age to opt in Medicare and allowing that program to compete with private insurances. President Donald Trump was also discussed in the debate. Several of the candidates said they want special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation to be complete before considering whether the president should be impeached. So Dusty said there is already clear evidence to support impeaching the president, as did McHarrens. The candidates were also asked about how they would deal with their own party's national leaders and specifically whether they would support Nancy Pelosi as Speaker of the House if the Democrats take a majority. Most said they wouldn't, although Pappas dismissed it as a Republic talking point. Then Kenzie came to defense of Pelosi. The first district stretch along most of New Hampshire's eastern border from the Seacoast up through Hart's location. It also reaches west into Campton and Lakes region in Sanbornton, as well as Manchester and surrounding towns including Goffstown, Bedford, and Merrimack. The district voted for Trump in 2016 but also returned Shea Porter to office. Shea Porter is not running for re-election. That does it for my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.